cyclones many times in the newspapers in the internet we see the photos of the typhoons and hurricanes and cyclones all these things tornadoes mostly in northern american states and japan we hear that a hurricane has come a typhoon a cyclone so all these things are nothing but more of wind and accompanied with the rain but more high speed of wind will be there next moving on to cyclones so usually cyclones are those type of rains which are accompanied with high speed winds and usually cyclones occur in northern american part as well as japanese part philippines part etc and cyclone is known with different names in these different regions so basically how does a cyclone occur so fast moving air towards the center is called cyclone so if the air is revolving and in the center only in a specific center part then it is known as cyclone wind direction wind speed temperature and humidity humidity is moisture content in the atmosphere all these things together create cyclone so when water vapor you know evaporation right water evaporates goes up into the sky in the form of water vapor again there it cools down and comes back comes back to the earth in the form of rain so when water vapor in the cloud cools down it releases heat so the water which is going up in the form of water vapor definitely is carrying some heat so when it comes down as in the form of rain it releases that heat into the atmosphere then what does the heat do if that heat warms up the air around the warm air rises up and creates low pressure so the heat which is released in the falling falling water water vapor in the form of rain that heat it goes into the atmosphere and warms the air around it then that warmer air rises up and creates an area of low pressure so increased wind speed is always accompanied by low pressure so this air creates an area of low pressure zone which is then filled by cooler air from the surroundings so as the hot air rises up it creates a low pressure zone and the empty space will again be filled by the air from the surroundings so this chain of event will be continuously occurring so this creates a system in which the center is having low pressure and is surrounded by the wind moving around it so center part will be having low pressure and the warmer air will be rising up and air from the surroundings will come and occupy the empty space made by the warmer air this chain of events will continuously occur and form a cyclone so wind from the surroundings moves in a circular fashion towards the center and gives rise to the cyclone so this circular movement of wind towards the center and the warmer air rising up this chain of events if they occur continuously it gives rise to something called cyclone so this is how structure of a cyclone looks like the center of the cyclone is known as the eye center of the cyclone is known as the eye then cyclone may be 10 to 15 km high you know 10 to 15 km is a greater height right such height will be the cyclone if it is a rotating mass of air so in a circular direction continuously the air will be rotating then diameter of the eye varies from 10 to 30 km that is this width you can say diameter means the width of the eye will be 10 to 30 km then eye of the cyclone that is the middle part of the cyclone is usually a calm area but around the eye the air moves with a speed of 150 to 250 km per hour this center part will be calm but around this center there will be winds high speed winds and sometimes clouds also which move which move with a speed of 150 to 250 km per hour so this is how a cyclone is formed and cyclone understanding the cyclone is usually a little complicated process but briefly this is the structure of cyclone destruction caused by cyclone so if cyclones occur there will be lot of destroyment destruction everywhere so a strong cyclone can be very destructive that means causes great loss so since cyclone is accompanied with high speed winds you know cyclone has high 
high speed wind turbines right it damages houses electricity poles telephonic wires as well as uproots big big trees right from the roots they will be uprooted because of high speed winds then strong winds of cyclone push the sea water towards the shore in the form of waves so sea water comes to the shore in the form of big big waves these high waves push sea water to the land which will be accompanied by loss of property and life so when there will be excessive water that will come to the cities towns and lands which will damage the houses damage to the life of human beings animals birds etc and being an area of low pressure the eye of the cyclone lifts water in the center and this causes the water to rise 3 to 50 meters high eye is the center part of the cyclone right and it is the area of low pressure so being the area of low pressure it causes the water in the center to rise high 3 to 15 meters high the water rises in the eye that is center of the cyclone that is very big height so when the water rises to up to 15 meters high it looks like a water wall is coming towards us so this appears like a water wall this water wall when pushed towards the shore can inundate large area which causes loss of property as well as the life so when so much big 15 meters big water wall like thing will come to the shores definitely it will go into the cities and towns right then which will cause loss to the property lost to the shops lost to the houses hospitals and the life of the human beings birds animals etc so eastern coastal region of india is more prone eastern coastal region of india is more prone to the cyclones when compared to the western coast region so that is how destruction is caused by a cyclone and cyclone is known by different names in different parts of the world in american continent it is known as hurricane and in japan and philippines it is known as typhoon then tornadoes tornadoes are also something like cyclones only they have very fast moving cloud in the shape of the funnel so round with a narrow end it will be that thing very fast moving cloud is known as tornado funnel shape is wide at the top and narrow at the bottom so very fast moving cloud the shape of the funnel such with the speed of 300 km 300 km is a very great speed we humans cannot go against that speed so tornadoes occur with very fast speed 300 km per hour so they form within the cyclone inside of the cyclone tornadoes form they are accompanied with high speed of about 300 km per hour then anemometer is a device which which measures the speed of the wind so the government of the particular place announces the cyclone alert typhoon alert so how do they measure speed of the wind they measure the speed of the wind with a device called anemometer and we should not ignore the warnings of the meteorological department or the government the cyclone warnings and all because we have to stay alert in these conditions what effective measures can we take when there is a cyclone so safety services towards cyclones and other disasters like thunderstorms issued by the government and other agencies so these are the safety measures which are issued by the government and other agencies during cyclones and other disasters cyclone forecast and warning services so they have some cyclone alerts or known as cyclone watches with advance in technology cyclone can be forecasted 24 to 48 hours in advance this is because possible because of satellites and computers so when cyclone is nearer to the coastline a cyclone warning is forecasted every half an hour so with the help of satellites nowadays cyclone warning can be issued 24 to 48 hours in advance and this cyclone warning is known as cyclone alert or cyclone watch and when cyclone comes nearer to the shore or nearer to the coastline every half an hour government issues a cyclone warning then rapid communication to the government and concerned people then this meteorological department will 
communicate about the cyclone warning to the people and as well as the government. So communication about the cyclone is given quickly to the government and people so that proper safety measures and rescue operations can be carried out. So as soon as the meteorological department issues cyclone warning, the government and the people immediately carry out safety measures like the stock of medicines, they keep the emergency phone numbers of the police station, fire, rescue people, etc. Then construction of cyclone shelters in cyclone prone areas. So government officials construct cyclone shelters so that people can move to a safer places. Then shifting people to the safer places quickly. So immediately fire fighters, soldiers, armies also come and help you in the cyclone conditions. They shift people to a safer place. Then as a people, what can we do? Action on the part of people. Pay attention to the warning broadcast from time to time. You should not ignore the broadcasts which we are issued via radio, via newspapers, via TV channels. We should never ignore them. Then stock necessary food items and medicines during the cyclone warning. Not only food items and medicines, emergency phone number should also be kept handy. Then if possible, move to a safer place. So if possible, we have to move from our house to some else place. Then cooperate with others in the community. And this situation, we should not distinguish between people. We should cooperate with everybody. Then we should help the rescue teams which come if we are proper in a proper condition we can help the rescue people who come to move the people to safer places. Then fishers should fishermen should not go into the sea for fishing whenever a cyclone alert is issued. And suppose if there is a thunderstorm alert is issued, then what you can do? When a thunderstorm, what is thunderstorm? Wind wind accompanied by rains. So winds and rains together cause lightning and sound which lead to thunderstorm. So when thunderstorms occur, what safety measures can we take? We should not handle any metal or metal things. We should not touch any metal umbrellas or any, any metal objects. We should not talk on mobile standing below the rain during the thunderstorms. And we should move to the safer places like we should sit under a table or a bench, something like that. And when tornadoes and hurricanes come, we should go and shift into the deeper places of the houses. And we have to sit with our knees folded down and our hands placed over our ears. Because sometimes tornadoes and hurricanes will be so severe that they may uproot the roof of our houses. At that time, if the roofs are blown away, we have to be at safer places. So under a table or a bench, we have to sit with our ears closed, head facing down and knees touching the ground. So these are some of the safety measures what we can do when there is a cyclone or a thunderstorm. So now we end the chapter wind storms and cyclones.